mass harassment from Hindu nationalists forces comedian to quit. Munora Faruqi, an Indian stand-up comic, has been lately facing incessant trouble in trying to find venues to host his shows. The owners of the venues where his shows are scheduled to be held have been frequently contacted by the police, advising them to cancel his performance due to threats they have received from right-wing extremists. Faruqi became a controversial figure at the beginning of 2021 when he was arrested for allegedly making jokes about Hindu deities. He has maintained his innocence and the police were never able to produce any evidence of him, quote, hurting religious sentiments, despite keeping him in jail for over 30 days. His performances have been canceled due to arson threats on the venues, threats of violence to audience members, pressure from local Hindutva groups, and even over 500 Hindus threatening to set themselves on fire if he was allowed to perform. Faruqi wow. says he has been forced to cancel 12 shows within the past two months. After a recent show in Bangalore was canceled due to threats of venue vandalism, he announced his retirement via Twitter saying, my name is Munawar Faruqi, and that has been my time. You guys were a wonderful audience. Goodbye. I'm done. Oh, that is so sad. That is so sad. By the way, what a weird threat. How many people threatened to burn themselves alive? We talked about he this last week. Over yeah, I know, I know. But Hindus have set themselves on fire. 500. Like if you keep joke, if you keep continuing with your comedy, five hundred of us are gonna set ourselves on fire. Like I, I that will. Joke he never told. For a joke, For he, a never joke told. he never told. I want to read a little bit of his because he released more of a statement announcing his retirement, um, and I just want to read a little bit more of it. He said. Putting me in jail for the joke I never did to canceling my shows, which has nothing problematic in it. This is unfair. This show has gained so much love from people in India, irrespective of their religion. This is unfair. We do have a censor certificate for the show, and it's clearly nothing problematic in it. Meaning, this has already had to be approved by censor boards to make sure it's been approved by the government to make sure there isn't anything upsetting in it that would hurt Anti -Hindu. your Anti-Hindu. And oh then, um, and then, yeah, he's like, we had to cancel all these shows. And then that's where he's like, I think this is the end. Like, I, I, I'm done. That is so sad. I don't even know what to say. It's God damn. such BS because, I mean, on so many different levels, um, it's, well, what was particularly interesting about this most recent recent show in Bangalore being canceled, it was that actually this time it was the police demanding that the show be canceled. And they said, um, they said that, oh, he's very controversial. This has all this potential to cause, you know, chaos in law, like, you know, law and order to be dissolved. And he's been banned in other states. The police, okay, first of all, this letter that they released, you can see pictures of it. It is full of grammatical and spelling mistakes. Like, it's just, it's just like a mess of a document. And they straight up lied. He has not been banned in, in a single state in India. They're just like mm. making stuff up to get his show canceled. The police. So obviously, yeah, the just trampling on his civil liberties. Hmm. Okay, can you address this, Rahul, in the live chat? There's a video of him mocking Godra Hindu victims. Victims, I think he said. I don't know what this is referring to. KD, liberal Bengali Hindu. The joke that they're accusing him of saying, he never said that. But that's even, but that shouldn't even be the. You know, they arrested the, like it, him before the offensive show even happened. Yeah, I was, yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. I was trying to say that it's amazing that the defense for him is that he didn't say the joke that people are accusing him of, as if it would have been, as if that if that would if, that would be a legit way crime, or that would be like the standards in India is so far gone that we're not we're not even have to. We can't even defend this guy by saying, well, it's okay to make a joke. A joke doesn't harm anybody, right? The the standards are like, oh, yeah, he didn't. Please don't attack this guy because he didn't say the joke. Like, that's how far gone we are, which is absolutely ridiculous, right? Um, this thing, this is woke culture. This is not, I mean, woke culture, 
this is right wing. Like, okay, so if you want to, if we want to call this woke, you have to. We all have to accept that the masters of wokeism of wokeism are right leaving people. Okay, the masters the cancel of cancel culture. I think that's what yeah. D is saying. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what she's saying. Uh, yeah, but like when people talk about cancel culture, most people think about left leaning people. Like nobody, the the left's cancel culture has never come even remotely close to the cancel culture of right leaning people with their hot, like with their insane conservative moral standards, right? For what's acceptable, right? Um, and they actually they the, wokeism doesn't actually get enforced by law. Uh, right leaning cancel, you know, the left leaning wokeism is more like, oh, you don't, you can't get a job maybe, or you get removed from this social media or you're not going to get invited to this university uh, right-leaning cancel culture are often enforced by law right so that's the you know that's a bigger uh, cancel culture that people need to worry about um yeah this is far, this is far right snowflakes exactly exactly they have glass hearts these these like right-wing hindu crazies have glass hearts the way that they whine and bitch and moan over their religious sentiments i have never mm. seen a group so freaking fragile it's embarrassing these are men oh my god Ugh. hashtag read... not all hindus there you go no no i i no, no. qualified it <laughs> with my several favorite. characteristics and attributes yes, before yes, that yes. okay let's be clear yeah, yes. um yeah if, if the shoe fits, um, oh my God. So it was really interesting. I, while I was researching this, I happened to come across an organization in a Twitter called Hindutva Watch. And on hindutvawatch.org, there was a really interesting article written by someone for the website. And it's about how Munawar Faruqi is not being bullied for his jokes, it's for his faith. And they put forward this argument that you know, people saying that, you know, the sign of um, a healthy democracy is that we can make jokes and humor and they're trying to secularize this argument. But we need to be clear that he is being targeted in this way because of his Muslim background. It, it's it's so apparent. And he's saying, quote, we must accept that it is Munawar Faruqi, a Muslim who is under attack for being a Muslim, for having the audacity to, to smile and stand upright. This is the... Um, open bullying of a Muslim by the affiliates and fellow travelers of the RSS in the convenience of the law and order apparatus. It is not his jokes that are making Hindus angry. There is no genuine hurt involved here, which can sometimes lead to anger. In this case, it is a cold decision that seems to have been made to, that an example will be made of Faruqi through him, a message sent to all Muslims. They should not expect to live their lives their way in India. They have to be at the mercy of radicals of the RSS network. Um, and then th right, this we do, person, we do no, need wanna, to move on. So yeah, go ahead. they, um, make a really interesting argument where they're saying that it's like his, um, making a really interesting, and important connection. So his comedy is also his livelihood. So by coming after his livelihood, he is being put among the category of Muslim fruit sellers who get chased out of Hindu neighborhoods, people who sell bangles on the street you know, having their property destroyed for being Muslim and selling them in, in certain streets. You know, all of these, um, they're making a broader connection to what we've talked about before, um, this, this effort to economically cripple and boycott Muslim Indians, which I thought was right. very interesting. Yeah, okay, so we need to read some comments point. in the live chat. Uh, this mm -hmm. one. Read Munawar this one. is a horrible person inside and out a classified a classic purified isthmus i don't support his arrest though burning threats are fine are you insane i just want to, yeah he's <laughs> insane uh, i just want to highlight this to show you the people who think this guy is a horrible person are the people who think like burning burning threats are fine right this is the <laughs> this is the kind of group of people that we i've had going. friends who've seen his comedy live tell me the he makes jokes about islam in his yeah, comedy so set <laughs> like, yeah, I, yeah, that's I've, I've heard making fun I, of this. Oh my yeah, God. Uh, hold on. Like, so, like, you see how people, how far, uh, how lost the people who are saying, like, the tricky uh, talk who's saying this, they think that he's a classic purified Islamist, the person that actually makes jokes about Islam as, as well, 
that's what they consider somebody that is purified Islamist. Okay. So you can see like, this is why it's hard for us. Like we're trying to accept criticism of our stories and have people tell us like why we're wrong so that maybe we could look, look into things that maybe we reported something wrong, but you have to like, you have to accept that why we can't take these people seriously. Like this is, this is the pushback that we get. Somebody who says like burning threats are fine and is calling this guy an, an, an Islamist. Like that's, that's how ridiculous our our critiques are. Like, anyways, here Katie has some better information. Katie is saying, "I see an OP Indian article confidently saying he mocked those victims, while others are saying about are talking about the first time he got arrested, at which after which police confirmed he didn't make the joke." Yeah, so OP India, obviously, so the people who are making these accusations are getting their uh, information from OP India which is also the <laughs> the news outlet that basically came after us uh, for uh, defending us when we basically we were desecrating the Quran and completely came after us, excusing making uh, pornographic uh, videos and images about my dead mother. These people, OP India is the news outlet that, ex that made excuses for that. Okay. So that's the, that's where these people are getting their information from. Okay. So here, there's that. Um, do you want to highlight this one? And then we're going to move on. Uh, Megumum is saying we shouldn't support RSS's harassment of Munor Faruqi, but we do well to remember he's a casteist and mo mocked lower caste Hindus and Muslims. I'm not familiar with this, but I'd be interested in to hear the context because I actually don't think that comedians shouldn't, they're like, you can only punch up, like you can never punch down. Like, no, you can talk about disenfranchised people like in a funny way under certain circumstances yeah. right so dark, i would need to like actually hear what that is um but dark humor is very a very powerful way of bringing attention to a sector of people something like you a lot of people who this is what they call it the comedic license again but we have to see the joke however even if he has said jokes that we might if we see it we might not support that's completely beyond what's happening here okay like i'm you know everybody has said things that maybe are not the best way of talking about a group of people, okay? But we're talking about attacking someone's livelihood, um, threats of burning, uh, arresting people. That's a completely, that's a such a different category of like, oh, this joke of you was, was not fine. This was not a good joke. Like, these are completely different things. They do not even belong in the same discussion. Like, even if a, co if a comedian is somebody that has said a few jokes that we don't like, this reaction is on such a different level that I don't think they should even be discussed in the same conversation. You know, I mean, they can I should, say one last but... thing very quickly? Go on. Um, so when you were talking about like our people who like Hindufo or BJP and they criticize us and trying to take them seriously, one thing I was thinking about today when I was doing research for the show was that they they come after us for our bias. Maybe they accuse us have accuse us of having a secret agenda, but never never has anyone who criticizes us for the way we talk about BJP or Hindu ideology, they have never condemned the violence that they enact. I would have a much better time actually taking their criticism well if they fucking condemned the violence. It drives me insane. Yeah. So until Good you can point. come in my mentions and actually be like, yeah, these are freaking goons who take the law into their own hands, abuse and terrorize our fellow citizens. But you actually did get maybe a detail here wrong. You have a bias there, blah, blah, blah. That I could work with. But if I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. That's a very good, very good point. Very good point. By the way, a lot of people are saying that maybe the the jokes apparently that he made was about the reserve the reservation, and some people are saying that is not casteism, right? So reservation is not equality. Yeah, the way um, again, I'm not the we don't. That's another topic, but yeah, it's possible for some people to be uh, against that, but not casteist. So uh, that's another point that we have to take. I completely agree. Again, we don't. Yeah. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. 
We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.